Hey guys, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Welcome back to EU4. We are in a huge war with the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. And uh, so far, we're doing all right. We are taking some casualties, but boy, are we inflicting them. Uh, it is a reconquest war, war for uh, our boys, the Teutons, who we will promptly annex as soon as we uh, get them all that stuff. It's going to be really, really good for us. Um, I, was I was looking at this and... It in September, I will be able to spend 10 favors to ask these guys to join my war or to reduce their opinion, which, as you can see here, is um, actually they're not nearly as into them as they were before, but they won't join because attitude towards enemies and they're in debt. Hmm. Oh, that's something, huh? Well, we may have to go this war without Austria, but we will see. But before we get too far into the video, I do want to remind you guys, if you would like to support us, we do have a Patreon as well as merch, and the merch is pretty cool. It's going to be linked in the description below the video. If you have it within your means and you would like to, that support is huge, and it really does help me um, just dedicate the time and improving quality of the content, uh, everything on here, and just gives me the time to actually do it. So if you guys would like to, link is in the description for those below. But anyways, let's attack, get some more with Poland going on. We are currently doing fine, honestly. Um, come on now. Oh, the Fort and Stolp is almost done, which is good because that's basically going to protect us from the inside or from the outside here. These wars have been going on. These battles have been going on constantly. Nice. Okay, this is <laughs> this is really good. Um, we can loot this for professionalism, which is really good because I can turn around and um, slacken recruiting standards, which I don't actually need to. So I think I'll actually hold on to this. I think I'll hold on to this professionalism, unless... No, I'll take that. That's a lot of manpower, honestly. Loans are going to start picking up. It's fine. Reinforcements is expensive, no doubt. All right, so let's get these guys over here. Uh, let's scorch this province here. And we're going to have these guys split and come back here. And uh, basically what we're doing is we're trying to... Um, like slowly progress through and siege him down. Our siege of our Fort and Stolp is done now, which is good. And here they go. This is what I was waiting on. All right. So these guys are going to come and start sieging down my allies, which is annoying. No, 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 no. I want you guys to do that. So let us reduce his opinion of Poland. There we go. So now, if I were to ask him to join, if he wasn't in debt, he would be willing to join. Wait, oh, now he's willing to join. Let's go. <laughs> All right, this war just got a lot easier, lads. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Stack wipe these guys in Dresden. That would be great. They're retaking his fort very quickly there as well. Let's get these guys down this way. Uh, we'll take a bit of attrition to assert our dominance. We're the emperor of the HRE. After all, we can afford it. All right, cool. Let's catch these guys down here. He has no manpower. He has none. So this 10 stack here, that's that's a stack that when it's gone, it's gone. He's not going to be able to re replenish them. They're locked in over here. This is Highlands. But it's fine. Austria is actually going to reinforce as well. All right. Very good. Let's uh, begin the slow march towards Warsaw. Sieging them down. We're also winning forts over here. This is the war goal. So as you can see here, we have minus 10 war score just from not having the war score. So once we get the war goal, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start going up pretty quickly here. Oh, sadly. That is so sad, actually. Lithuania coming in clutch, helping them uh, get out of there. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's it's it's huge. It's not not huge. It's not the end of the world. Let's see here. You guys want some of this? Those guys in Zemplin are ready to go. Is that our royal marriage with who? Our consort is dead, sadly, but uh, next year, Wilhelm Friedrich will uh, be able to take the throne without any issues. Can you guys get out of there, please? 
Yo, help him out. Help him out. There you go. Get out of there. Hopefully these guys don't win a 21 percenter. They did not. Very good. They're reinforcing, sadly. I am going to flee, obviously. That's fine. Let's win Tukola, or however it's pronounced. Tushola. You Poles pronounce everything super weird, so I'm not even going to try, honestly. They've taken Zemplin. No, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Advance a little bit. These guys are... Again, like I said, the war score is going to switch over to our favor as soon as we take this province here. I'm just keeping an eye on here, making sure... See, like, Lubeck? You're a bastard. The fact that... Um, he didn't full annex him and there's multiple tags here it's fine actually i don't mind a whole lot that uh, he did that so i'm not going to worry about it the siege ability is looking pretty good there we go we've got the war goal Get these guys over here come over here and siege down clock also we should core that up huh we never did that because we didn't have admin at the time but uh the siege ability is helping us out normally it's 30 day siege tick so 26 is uh you know it's not it's not an insignificant dis difference okay they're sieging down prog it's good that it's our va our allies vassal getting siege down and not us or not him because it doesn't affect his war exhaustion so he's not you know feeling excited to get out of the war or anything like that the siege down Kreko. Yeah, because this, this piece deal we're looking for is quite large. 80%. 10, 10 um, aggressive expansion, though. That's awesome. Um, uh, I'm already maxed out on Prestige. I might as well just improve relations. He's my rival, so it doesn't matter. But We're just going to win all these sieges. And we're going to be giving one, two, three forts back to him. Diplomana. Or mercantilism. Um, we're okay on Diplomana. Once we take this idea, this idea our tech is going to save us some anyway. So I'll go with the long game. And mercantilism is the way to do that. So we're going to wait on that. We're not losing any innovativeness. So as long as we're not, then I'm in no rush to take stuff. We've won Krakow. So let's march on to Warsaw. Ooh, baby. Feels good to stomp on this Poland. This is a big, beefy Poland, too. The fact that we were able to do some finagling to get Austria in is really good. Which, admittedly, I, I generally wouldn't be able to do because uh, I'm trying to play slow this campaign. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm playing a bit slower. It is intentional because I'm trying to not, um, you know, miss opportunities, which I do tend to miss because I play fast. It's definitely my style. Um, it's not for everybody. I get comments kind of critiquing me from time to time. It's, it's how I prefer to play, so it, it's not for everybody. I certainly acknowledge that, but um, I'm playing a, little, a bit slower now. We've won the Siege of Płock, so let's come over here to this province here. And they got their 26,000 men sieging down Zagreb for some reason. <laughs> but once we take, and remember, we got taking war score going up, so every month we gain more and more war score as we continue to... Uh, Get these guys beat up on Lithuania. How are you guys looking now? 15,000 men. That's all they have. 17,000 men. 5,000. Oh, we're doing so good, chat. We're doing so good. I am so happy. I'm so proud of this community. That's Highlands. Uh, looks like we're not going to catch there any catch them there anyways. Let's uh, do a little bit of carp sieging. Just waiting on this tech, or this idea. We've won the Siege of Warsaw, very good. Let's get over here to Vilnius. The sooner we siege that down, the better. Because if they're sieging, if they have their whole army over here, then I'm not worried about it. Styrian Separatists, huh? And remember, we're getting, man, we're getting a uh, war score monthly. So every month we're getting closer and closer to that peace deal we're looking for. We 
these Fort Zona controls is throwing me off though. There we go. We finished coring up this stuff over here, which is good. I will full state it. Not yet. I will wait until I get my admin tech. There we go. There we go. We're getting very close here. Look at this on the... Mo oh, yes, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I would like to even take some cash from him. There's nothing wrong with that. So, going a little for that. The Hail Mary. The big pop of peace deal. That's what we're doing. Get these guys over here. Oh, yes, Austria. Do it. Do it. Because I doubt they're going to be... They're going to flee over here and they're going to get stack wiped, aren't they? I'm about... To, are we about to see the most satisfying... Hey! Hey, where are you going? There you go. Is this about to be the most satisfying part of the campaign so far? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very good. They now have 15,000 men left. Life is good. Life is good. Uh, oh, that's a merc stack. I was trying to split them. But instead, I just um, did that. Anyways. Pillage's capital. Take some dev from Warsaw. 16 is all he's got. Man, you can do better than that. War reps. And then, uh, okay, that's it. That's the peace deal. 13 AE. We're going to gain all this. We're going to have him return all this to uh, HRE princes. Which, uh, at least I think they are. Yes. These guys are HRE princes. So, so this will return all their cores. So that will help us out with Imperial Authority growth. And then he will be returning all of that clay to him. I will promptly integrate and we'll also get war reps from him and we're gonna pillage his capital so. <sighs> so satisfying that is so satisfying baby all right prussian expansion gives us some free mill mana and permanent claims on silesia and lusatia which is over here i think yep so whenever i choose up with these guys we can attack them that's no problem for me um, I could totally attack these guys right now. I returned cores to him, so they're all, they're all like, mm, but I kind of want some, like, kind of, wait a minute. Why are there Teutonic Separatists in my land? In the Teutons land? That doesn't seem right. All right, let's uh, begin annexing him as soon as possible. So it will be done in 81. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 10% tech cost. So take a look at this. This will go from 541 to 479. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Being ahead on Diplotech, again, going to save us some money in the long term as well. So I'm actually going to get rid of these mercs ASAP so I don't have to pay for them. We have manpower, so we can fight these rebels with manpower. They're also in the woods, so um, should be able to wipe them out. I'll actually take him because i'd rather have the infantry combat ability free innovativeness man i'll be honest this is like kind of the dream campaign as uh as monk would say i feel like things are going super smooth which is really nice because i'm used to things like crashing and burning for me on camera looking like an idiot like i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> let's uh steal his dev here stettin I would like to steal your dev as well. As long as they're loyal, it doesn't matter. Look at this. We're up to 46 dev in our capital. So good. So good. Monthly income is good. Definitely going to have to repay some of these 4% loans. Uh, the one percenters don't matter at all. But the... Actually, what I can do here is I can yoink that. Rego indebted to them. This might seem so strange to you guys, but I promise you it will work. So we're at 1.73% interest. And we repay, we take the 1% loans to repay the 4% loans. And then the older ones that are going to renew first. And now we're paying 0.6%. We're gaining an extra duck in a month from that. All we paid was, all we did was pay 5 or 0.5% attrition for that. I'm going to say work. 
Uh, also, we're making progress on getting these guys integrated. Ooh, losing mana monthly. That is not ideal. Really? National focus, huh? Right. When can I yoink this? Let's get a nobility one. <sighs> yeah, it's not going to work. Papal state's opinion of me. Whatever, man. Let's get some claims over here and just improve our relations with Pope Man then. Yeah, I was hoping to get one for the nobility, but a, a castle one is not going to be good for us. Yeah, our inflation is not, not helping us either. Can we get a inflation guy? No, we cannot. Sadly. Reform desire still slowly ticking up. We're not necessarily in a huge rush to jump on it, so. Speaking of, we can exploit our development for a bit of extra money in the bank at this current moment, so we should do that. Gives us money, that way we can pay off some of our loans, specifically ones that are looking to renew. Uh, looks like these guys all just renewed, so that's fine. But paying them off is going to be good for us because it's going to help us with uh, reducing our um, inflation gain. So obviously we want to do that if we can. Truce of these guys is going to be up in 82. So we got some time. Plenty of time, actually. Josep von Habsburg. <laughs> Let's see here. Can I get anything useful from you guys? No. So let's just get some trust with them. Continue to curry favors, of course. Currying favors with Austria is definitely good for us. Especially if we can keep them above 90. So that way we can jump at the opportunity to put somebody from our dynasty on his throne when the time comes. So this is actually really funny because these Baden separatists are going to take that province back because he can't core it. Because we took this province, so we didn't have coring range. <laughs> That's why this is still up here, which is hilarious. All right. Currently 11 provinces outside of the HRE. I have a royal marriage with him. The imperial ban would be really good to use. So here... Uh, let's uh, let's do this. This, is, this, is, this should be an easy way to do this. So if you can't... I don't want to take the stab hit. Obviously, I have three three stability. So what I want to do here is I want to get him to be at least minus 50. So I send them a warning. That hurts my opinion of them. Or their opinion of me, sadly. I need to get... Yeah, I need to get them to minus 50. So then what you do... Is uh, you send them a scornful insult, which will take them down a 100. Speaking of, I need to do that for my island. So now he should break his royal marriage with me. He's got a positive stability, so he should do it. Let's also make sure that we are staying up on this. So since we've just rivaled these guys, let's issue an embargo to them. Am I not embargoing these guys? I'm not. I have a truce with them, though. So let's also send some scornful insults out to make sure we get our PP as big as possible. Here we go. They still haven't broken their royal marriage with me. They've actually gone up a bit because they're improving relations with me. Oh, I, uh, I scornfully insulted his rival. All right, whatever. I guess we take the stab hit. It's not a big deal. I have vassals that will handle most of this for me. He doesn't have any PUs anymore. Friesland, Saxe-Lonberg. I could co-belligerent Saxe-Lonberg and annex them. So I'll do that. Call in Mantua and the Platinate. Not Austria, though. No need. I'll lose the stab. It's okay. It's not ideal, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Wait, Lubeck joined. Hold on. Didn't think Lubeck was going to join, but that's fine as well. Got our monthly morale tick there. Let's come on up here and hopefully stack wipe him. Yes, very good. So do something like this. Get these guys over here. our generals on just so we're not 
marching our little stacks around with no generals. That should be a pretty easy way to uh, destroy these guys. We'll be able to take some money from him as well, which will be good. So, yes, this war should be pretty straightforward. All I need to do, using the Imperial Band CB, what I need to do is have him release Hainaut, Luxembourg, and not Picardy. Return... Well... Take those two for myself. Which is actually fine, because then it'll give me um, some clay over here. But if I need it eventually, I, I may not need it, but it's fine. I could probably sell it to a couple of other princes in the HRA if I really wanted to. This is a level 3 coastal fort, so yeah. That's going to be a pain with no cannons. But we're close. We can almost get our value cannon. Let's get over here to Frieschland. Pretty soon I'm going to have to start building some boats. I've been putting that one off. Let's core that up. No problem. I'll go with improved relations. That's fine. Actually, I lied. We're going to go with Diplo Rep. That way I can... Well, no, just kidding. I'm going to switch to a Diplo Focus, so we're going to be gaining. I know we're working on an admin group, but uh, falling behind on admin is rarely something you need to worry about. We will win that siege eventually. There we go. Papal influence. Very good. Thank you so much, Pope Man. That's exactly what I needed. I need to get these guys enough so I can revoke this estate statutory rights. Or I need their influence to drop low enough. So, yeah, this won't won't work. Mm. Is there anything I can do that would affect that? Doesn't look like it. Disputed succession in a couple of places, actually. Holland. Keep that in mind. Getting a PU on a Holland would be really good. We got a PU on Brabant in our previous campaign. as, uh, Or maybe... Was it the previous one? I can't remember. We did one on the release of Emperor as well. I cannot recall. There we go. Continue to pay off our loans. The 1% interest is, you know, minimal. So it's, it's not actually a huge deal. The sooner that, like, that we... We don't have to necessarily pay it off right now. Uh, looks like these guys are getting absolutely dogpiled on. So hopefully France doesn't take that. I do not want to have to tango with France. Oh my gosh. I just gave over. <clears throat> okay, whatever. Whatever. I just accidentally gave up a siege by accident. Yep. What? What? What just happened? Huh? I didn't... I am so confused. Why did that just happen? I didn't call them into the war. Is It acted like I just got war decked on. But I'm not at war with anybody that I didn't just declare on on my own. This is that was weird. Uh, okay. Well, needless to say, maybe there are a few more bugs that still exist. <laughs> okay, man. Uh, let's get these guys over here. We just need to get out, finish these wars up, and we'll be good. Well. Keeping these guys maxed out on relations is important. We're going to maintain. He is no longer my rival, really. Well, that's good. Maybe we can get him to vote for us. That'd be pretty cool, huh? Yeah, 
yeah they're still very much interested in voting for me so let's improve relations with bohemia make sure we can lock in their vote as well and now we just have to wait until this war is over with these guys that's kind of annoying no oh. anyways aside from that little weird bug where it acted like i got attacked and they dishonored the cult of arms i guess Aside from that, good episode. We completely dismantled uh, Poland's all of Poland's expansion, except for obviously annexing Mazovia. But uh, yes, we are well along our way to annexing the Teutons, which will grow our borders quite a bit. Um, we should probably integrate these guys like at the same time, and I'll show you guys how to do that. But uh, that's going to do it for this one. So I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. If you are, please do make sure that you show your support. Leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. If you want to support us, as I said in the beginning, Patreon is the best way to do it. It's going to be linked in the description below as well as our Discord. Uh, if you would like to um, check that out, we have pings that go out if you're interested in catching video updates that way. Or if you would like to uh, just join that cool community over there. We also have merch linked in the description. And... Uh, I stream multiple days every single week over at twitch.tv slash chewy shoot. So there's plenty of content that you are missing out on if you're not over there. But that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Big special thanks to my top May supporters on Patreon. Drunk Binary, Bloodbound, Mr. McFlu, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Batman on Deck, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Tharo, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Jacko, R. Harvest, Corbett, Shankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Bargain Glad, Natsuki, Harry, A. Murata, J. Cutchville, N. Winkler, R. J. Pilot, Stolier, and many more.